It's the time for the Power Bay for your Nintendo Switch. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, I want to take a close look at the power bay for your Nintendo Switch. So this is more like a docking station that also includes some GameCube ports. I'm a big fan of the GameCube controller and I'm thinking, hey, also maybe it can be a very cool thing if you're a big Smash player or Smash Bros player. Sounds kind of weird saying it like Smash player. But okay, so this is what we're going to take a close look at today. Uh, it's from the company called Brook, they sent me in, uh, they asked me to make a review about it, we just wanted to check it out and just want to point out, even if they send me free stuff, that is just pretty cool and help the channel, but it doesn't influence my personal opinion because I am wicked and I can be influenced. <laughs> it's day to day to break the seal because I am wicked and love to do that. Ooh, warranty have been void. Another thing is I always want to have a second docking station because I think it's just super convenient. So this is something that I'm also very pleased with so I can finally put one with my capture card and another one I'm going to put with my TV. Okay, so the first thing, okay, this thing looks pretty cool in my opinion. <laughs> it looks like a tiny flattened GameCube. Okay, that is pretty cool. Okay, let's open it up, the packaging. Yeah, the user guide firmware, that's a new way. No toilet paper manuals, my friends, no. Oh, okay, so this is a very tiny docking. I really love how it looks way back you up. So you can open this up, you can put the GameCube in. So as you can see, we have two game ports, uh, GameCube ports and two USB connections. Okay, so this is an LED. All right, so at the back, we're going to find HDMI and the power in. You will you need to use the original adapter. So damn it, I need to get myself another adapter. And I think I just going to stick it in like this. Let's see where the port is. Be always very gentle with something like this. Okay, this is going to be... <laughs> right, there it is. So this is the way how you need to put it in the docking. There's still some movement over here. But yeah, that's what we're going to get. It still quite stable. Oh, not bad at all. Okay, so as you can see, when powering on the device itself, it works instantly without an, any problem. As you can see, even gun goes standby, the LED goes out. So we're going to get some juice from the switch. Yeah, I think it's better to use a power adapter if you can. But it's really cool to see it works like this. Okay, so let's stick in the controller. I'm going to use the left port for once. All right, search. I can navigate. So it's a strange thing. I can do something. It seems to be recognizing it. Okay. Alright, let's go. No, I don't I don't want to freaking update. Go away! I hate that update stuff. Okay, so the first thing I did notice that it works like a charm. I didn't do any configuration and just went through the game itself. And even the, the vibration function seemed to be working. Everything is just working well. Okay. Alright, so what I noticed with the controller, it works plug and play. I didn't do any configuration whatsoever. So let's do a little bit of smashing. Vibration function also works. Okay, works very well. Let's go into the game and let's see if we can play. Okay, well, let's see. All the buttons seem to be working. Vibration works just perfectly like an original controller on the GameCube. So that is pretty awesome to see that it works plug and play. I really like this. There is no hassle whatsoever. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to try, let's do, try two controls, just to see how it works. And the same is more like when plug it in, it will be recognized instantly without configuration. So this is just great and Okay, let's see if this also works. Yep, the vibration function, everything works fine. <laughs> so it's pretty cool to see that this device works so well. Okay, let's check it out, play one. Okay, play two. Okay, that is pretty awesome. So that passes the test. Okay, so next up, let's try the fake WaveBird controller that I've reviewed some time ago for the GameCube. Let's see if this works. Okay, guys, so the conclusion is, as you can see over here, the LED says that it's on, it's connected. 
I can double check it. Start blinking, powering it on. So it has connection, but everything is connected correctly, but the group doesn't recognize the control at all. So for example, when I'm removing this, I'm going to put the original controller back in. And you can see it works instantly. So this is just a problem with the fake WaveBridge controller. So if you're wondering, does a fake controller work? It's possible it is not working. But and again, this is a wireless version. I don't have a fake controller from for Datafrog. Maybe I can test it out in the future. Don't have one at the moment. So take this that it will only work with original controllers most of the time. But if you want to use the TVL function, you really need to connect your original Nintendo adapter. Otherwise, it will not put the signal to the television. As you can see now. And also, this feature works very well. So I was wondering, what if we're going to connect the GameCube controller? I'm just going to use a different game besides Mario or Smash Bros. And you see, it works like a charm. So let's play a little bit. Sonic Mania, of course. <laughs> Alright, so what I do like about this docking station is we can also use it for different games that we're not limited to in a certain game. Playing with in GameCube control, man, I love this controller. I love it big time. Great play Wicked, great play. Thanks Tails, see Tails always helps me out. Okay, so this is what we're going to get with the Brook Power Bay. And I must say the idea behind it is kind of funny. I really love how it looks and how it works. That the GameCube controls work plug and play that I'm very pleased with. And yeah, of course you can so far now combine it with all the different controls you're having like in the wireless control nunchuck. So if you want to play four player smash, you can do it the old school way with a GameCube controller or you can just use a USB or wireless controller. Nevertheless, I think it's a pretty cool device. When you're looking at the build quality, it feels quite durable. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of this. Would you consider buying something like this? And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become the Wicked family. And I will see you in the next video.